Welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zeppelin and I am just making this quick intro to the video to let you know that the reaction you are about to watch was taken from my Twitch channel. We live streamed a lot of reactions on my Twitch channel in the last few days and this is one of them. Over on my Twitch we tend to chill for a little bit, people recommend me songs, I react to them and if I feel like they're suitable for YouTube I upload them here to this YouTube channel and it's been a lot of fun as of late. You guys who have been coming into the Twitch streams have really been enjoying the content and spurring me on to make better content and I want to put this on YouTube just so that you guys and anyone who's new to the channel can see the other reactions I'm doing and hell maybe bring in some new people who might want to either stay on this channel or check out more reactions or come over to the Twitch and see what's happening over there. If you're not a big fan of this format where I'd be talking with the chat and everything's a bit sporadic, don't worry. We also do reactions that are recorded specifically for YouTube at the request of people. If people really want to see one recorded specifically for YouTube or really want me to get into a certain band or a certain album, I'll record those for YouTube so I can keep the review more on the point and get to the point instead of it being more laid back. And the point of the Twitch reactions is that we're just laid back, listening to some songs, making some critiques on them, but ultimately just having a good time. And I hope you take that into account when watching this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy and follow me in all my socials and I really do hope you enjoy. Take care. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we are reacting to a song called Alga, or at least I believe that's how it's pronounced, by the band Ignea. This is one that uh, was recommended to me because this is live on Twitch as you guys have probably seen from the intro. I need to record a new intro by the way. By the time this goes out on YouTube, I probably have the same intro for like 10, 15 videos. I need to change it. But anyway, this was a recommendation. We've already listened to an Ignea song. I, I, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it, actually. It was very good. A couple of parts in it I didn't like. Again, like, you know, the growl voice. If you've been uh, around my channel for a while, you know how much I hate growling. And it's a very common thing in metal. But everything else about the song, I absolutely love. I think it's a fantastic song. And so what we're about to see was this a one-off fluke or are they the shit we're about to <laughs> we're about to find out like like i'm the the <laughs> the judgeful eye for what's shit and what's not look at me god damn it but anyway we are ready to go i think so without further ado let's get into it Symphonic metal, it's always interests me. That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, symphonic metal. This reminds me of the Bully theme tune. You know, Canis came edit, renamed it into Bully then. It's actually very similar. I like it. It's instantly just giving me movie vibes because I listen to a lot of movie soundtracks, you see? So, instantly takes me to like a, a setting. They're setting up for the final battle in the haunted house, but it's like a kid's film. That's, that's what I get from this at the moment. Now we're getting the mummy vibes, come on! I say the mummy vibes, probably because it's just like, it reminds me of an Egyptian scale. Right, we're going to pause here really quickly, and I know what you're thinking, why the hell am I pausing before it gets in? I want to do two pauses, and with a six minute video, you do one at two, one at four, but I feel like we're about to kick in, and I don't want to pause just after the kick in, so I'm going to give my opinions in the start. I like symphonic stuff quite a lot, all right? So even though it's probably not reached a position yet where I could judge the song by any means in terms of where it's going, I am just a big I'm, I'm a big fan of that opening. I like what it's doing. It seems to be like incorporating a couple of different styles. It, it, it's, it's, you know, it's not like it's building up from a place where it was incredibly quiet, but there's been a build up there. You know, you're waiting for for that release again i and i think i always relate it back to muse but again muse are the band i know the most about like they live in the the realm of 
spectacle and awe in terms of their music. It's it's bold, it's cheesy, it's gargantuan in nature in terms of its progressions. And symphonic metal, I think, well, I presume I haven't listened to much symphonic metal, but the symphonic part would kind of suggest that it really leans into that. You know, it's going to use these string instruments to build up tension and it's going to be a rise, rise, rise into something that's epic, you know? That's it's the impression that you'd get i'd get at least but that's really all i have to say and i'm still liking it so far but haven't listened to enough to judge so we're go- next pause will probably be at four minutes so we'll, we'll have a fair idea by then wait to spoil it <laughs> i had to i had to to be fair i'm not even sure if they copyright so but it's just to be safe I really like that bass slide coming in. Very Egyptian scale. Or Arabian. I don't know which. I like that use of the double kick drum. Right, that's where i'm going to throw pause we'll rewind to get into that chorus okay i'm really liking it so far i have to say i'm really liking it it sounds more um like compare i'm just comparing off the last one that i heard of them it sounds like it took more skill to write in terms of how you'd write a song like this um it's leaning into those scales i've mentioned already before i don't want to keep repeating it unless it's the wrong scale but i'm pretty sure it's like in either egyptian or arabian or maybe they use the same and i'm just stupid i don't know but it, it gives off those vibes i really actually do do like the vocals in it uh, i like the instrumentation again anyone who's been here and knows how i feel about the double kick drum i think it's um i, I i'm not a fan whatsoever but the way it was used in this i liked it because rather than using it to fill out the verses or to fill up um the drop of the beat or whatever it was used just to simply layer on top of the chorus which i think is uh very very well it's not like it's interesting it's not like a thing that's you know not really done but i i I enjoyed that implementation of it so to speak there's more normatic uh, nomadic tarpans you probably would know better than i would i kind of just get like when i hear scales such as them i get a very very basic um idea in my head of where i'm thinking of but it's not based off any theoretical study whatsoever so i'm i'm very ill-informed on that on the overall if you're to get more specific about it it's just it's where my head goes you only listen to something and you go oh it's pop oh it's rock oh it's metal i go oh it sounds egyptian or arabian you know that's that's how I go. I don't, I don't have enough knowledge in that sense to delve deeper into it. I think they have a video vlog on how they made this one. It'd be interesting to see that. Um, I'm really lo- liking it so far. Do I like it as much as the 
other one that we listened to? What was the name of that one? Seitanu Akbar. Um, no, I don't. But I I think that this one takes a couple of more listens to really get into. I think um, the other one is very mainstream. Not not mainstream. Yeah, no, mainstream in terms of its riff. It's a riff that if you're a fan of the genre, you're going to get into quick and it's sort of more singly. Whereas this one feels a little more production heavy where you kind of have to sit and appreciate it in a couple of listens to really take in the full um, the full works of the song, so to speak. But I am, I am enjoying it. Uh, let's pull it back a little bit here and let it play through until the end and then I will give you my final thoughts That's good. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Alga, the official video from the band Ignea. Well, that song is very, very good. They actually remind me of sort of Rage, uh, Rage Against the Machine in, a, in a, a little bit and the sort of paraphrase another reactor. Forgive me, I can't mention the name of him at the, at the moment. It slips me, but he reacted to Satanu Akbar and it came up on my feed. So I was like, oh, I'm going to look at it. I want to see what he thinks of this song. And he said he said about them that this band seems to really, really want you to settle into a riff. And I couldn't agree more. Like, they're very much like they don't move off the riff very quickly. They don't change a lot of things up quickly. They like to let the riff sit and you really absorb it. And I believe, I firmly believe that that makes great listening for a live setting. Like, in terms of the aesthetic of, of, of metal and the craziness of it, how it can be sometimes, I feel like it wouldn't necessarily be my scene to be standing in in a concert. Because, you know, I'm quite a I'm, I'm quite a to-myself guy. The idea of being around, like, mosh pit scenes and all don't interest me. Like, even well, Nothing But Thieves had mosh pits going once and I got all fidgety because I was like, mosh pits just... I wouldn't really go near them. I'm more of a sit down and enjoy the music type of guy or either with my friends maybe dancing when there's space to so it feels like listening to this type of music live in terms of maybe being in the crowd wouldn't be my scene but i'd love to hear this type of stuff um done done live uh, like maybe from like sitting and listening to it like it it reminds me actually i get really jealous of 
I bought my parents as a tickets to go see a band called Massive Attack. And I listened to some of their songs then over the years. And one song in particular, Angel. And I just thought like, oh, that would be the best, the best song to hear on live level speakers. The bass would probably just rattle your teeth. Oh, even thinking about it now, I'm getting jealous. But anyway, it's besides the point. Like The point I'm making is that the more and more I listen to this band, the more and more I think they're, they'd be a really enjoyable experience to experience live. I think they write they write metal in a way that I find very enjoyable to me. I, I, even though I don't think her voice, like I don't like the growls, and I don't think it's the most technically gifted voice of all time by any means, I just find it works. I, I really like her voice on top of on top of the mix i mean i wasn't a massive fan of the piano stuff that was going on there that almost sounded like a guitar but again that's more the subjective stuff for me um other like literally other than that i have no complaints i really enjoyed it i love the change-ups that happened every now and then and yeah i do want to see i, want, I do want to hear a live version of this at some point 100 percent. i think if i was to give this out a 10 again i'm going to give maybe i think 8.7 and i think i gave the other one 8.9 but i think this one could grow higher than that i think this would go up to like a 9.1 or something if when the other one i said could go up to nine so far from the two songs i've listened to by these guys i seriously enjoy them seriously enjoy them but thank you very much phil for the recommendation on youtube thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care peace